Hey guys, RB the Garden Nanny. I am excited because I am getting ready to start disassembling the area where I'm going to have the vegetable garden. I've already shown you the flower garden. I don't have a design exactly in mind. I have a little something that I'm thinking about, but that doesn't mean that's how it's going to end up. So what I'm going to do is put on my shoes, get ready to get out there, and I'm just going to disassemble as much as I can today. And this will certainly not be a one day process. I'm going to take uh, several days, I'm sure, to do this, but I'm just gonna let the camera roll. Um, so sit back and watch my progress and hopefully it's something that I'm happy with. So I am so glad that it is a beautiful day today. It is a little breezy, but I am ready to go. I have already started with this David Austin Rose. Um, I cut it down. It was all the way at the top. So you can see where I stopped. This arbor will be going over into my flower garden, as well as this David Austin Rose. So that is going to be beautiful going into the flower garden. I am so excited about taking this trellis out of the middle of this area. It is going to make this space look so much bigger. So I'm removing some of the rocks and I'm just trying to first just move the trellis out of the way. And then I can work on getting the rose out of the way, both roses. There's one on each side. So now on this side, this is the, the new flower garden. I am going to remove this trellis and this is going over to the vegetable garden. I will prefer to use the other trellis. It's more decorative than the other. So this one will work better over in the vegetable garden. I love how decorative this one is. And I love how lightweight these things are. It's just so easy for me to put together and just plop it where I need to put it.
I am loving this double arch. Entering into the flower garden, it is going to be so beautiful once that David Austin Rose is put on and it grows so quickly. I just pray that the transplanting of that rose will not be a problem. You know how it is sometimes. But I am loving the way it looks. Uh, I have changed the bricks. Um, I will show that a little later. I had this just sitting here and I thought I would use it. But I ended up using or changing the arbor. I had it further back there. And I remember I have to put my rose on here. So let me show you over on this side. I'm going to have to put my rose. So that had to be pushed further up so that the rose could have room to grow up on the trellis. So I did make those changes. And so, yeah, I really like what I see here. I'm going to show a little later how I made a bed and connected the bricks. I'd used a different type of brick, but I'll show you that in a clip a little later. But um, I'm loving the way this looks entering into the flower garden. I found that it's a great idea to already get your hole started if you're going to be moving a rose. Get your hole started where you want to put the rose. Then go get your rose and then put it in. That way your rose is not sitting out for a long period of time. Yes, yes, I'm loving it. I did some pruning on it. I made sure that it was positioned the way I wanted position on this arbor. And I love it. I really like what it's looking like. I just cannot wait until it grows on this arbor. Now, entering into the pineapple, into the flower garden, got to get used to this. I'm moving these uh, bricks. The flowers all will be in containers. Uh, this was in the middle of the garden of this little area. But as you can see, it's so narrow. I don't really want anything in the middle. So I moved this over here. I put up a little fencing. Uh, I already had the white fencing. So I put up a little... Uh, fence on the side, but I'm going to be putting plants in front of this container. I mentioned it was a basketball court area, so there's cracks in the cement, this and that, but I will be moving some of these plants. Uh, these are blueberry bushes. They're going over to the vegetable garden. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a work in progress. I'm just going to be playing around with it until I get it the way I want it.
it's looking very nice. I love the trellis. Arbor. I always say trellis. I'm sure people say trellis or arbor or I'm going to say those interchangeably, but you know what I mean. I'm loving the way that looks. I will be rearranging the boxwoods and the sunshine lagustrum along with all the bricks you see here. And unfortunately, this beautiful salvia silver sage artemis, which I grew from seed this year, will be removed. But the good thing is, it's a biennial and easy to grow. It produces this beautiful foliage the first year and white flowers will follow the next year. I will be incorporating flowers in these containers to encourage the bees to pollinate my veggies, but I will be taking out my crepe myrtle and putting it somewhere else. Just say, lesson learned, do not sit next to a crepe myrtle. The bees will be all over you. I've got a lot accomplished today. A lot of the brick that was down, I pulled all that up. I removed the headboard and the footboard and removed all the irises and put them here. I will be putting them in another spot. I put the lattice, I brought it up higher and they are being held with stakes and they're also attached to the fence. I wanted a little height. I'm going to be removing the boxwood. Not sure exactly where I'm going to put them, so that's why they're still here. I don't want them just sitting out of the ground until I find a spot for them. Again, these will be removed so I can put my bench over here. I want to be able to sit without the bees all over me so I will not have a lot of flowers in this area. I want, well, in this particular area, I want to be able to sit. So I'm trying to design it with that in mind so that this time around it will be exactly the way I want it. Over in this area I'm taking out the hardy hibiscus. My arbor will be right in this section and this is just going to be the entry way to come into the vegetable garden. I have that over like that in the flower garden so why not I have an extra arbor I will be using it over in this area this rose will be put in a pot until I find a permanent home for her but yeah this is looking good so far on day two and I will be showing you day three I am starting day three in the flower garden because I have finished the entryway. I use bricks, sand, and all that good stuff uh, to make this little pathway to enter into the flower garden. And I am liking it. Uh, let me turn around and let you get a look on this side. I may end up changing the little hump circles in front just because I may just want it flush so that there won't be any tripping hazards as you walk up into this area. So I just may make it flush, but I am loving it. I absolutely love using what I already have. These bricks were over in the pineapple garden so I just reused them. I also made a little bed for 
my David Austin rose and also the planters. And I really think it looks nice. I am having so much fun. I am able to use my creativity to come up with things that, you know, I didn't have a blueprint. I didn't have something really in my mind. But as I just continue to work here and there, things just started coming to me of what I could do. And I really like the outcome. The trellis is very nice in this area. I really am glad that I chose this trellis over the other. As you walk into the flower garden, I have uh, this raised bed. It just has some cover crops and some plants that I'm uh, holding over until I find a permanent spot for them. And um, I have an Autumn Joy Sedum as well. Just little things here and there that's just in here until the time comes. Actually, this video, um, I've made so many changes. I have taken everything out of here just to be on the real side. I've taken everything out and I've planted garlic just to hold over until the summertime. So I will be having garlic in the summer. But as you saw, the bees are still slowly still around, and I love to see that he's enjoying that Autumn Joy Cedar. Over in this container, raised bed, I have Larkspur. It has germinated slowly, but surely it's germinated. And I have over here some daffodils that are on the other side of this plant. I'm going to put a beautiful mandevilla in this pot and just let it trellis its way up on this um, trellis. It's going to be beautiful. And you know, my favorite color is pink, so I'm going to have some really pretty color over on this side. Looking forward to that. Also on the bottom, I've planted some daffodils, so that's going to be pretty coming up. I have cover crop in here. That's just something that's going to, I'm just going to fart and rake into the soil. Uh, in the spring, it provides nutrients, uh, nitrogen for my raised beds. So that is what's going on in this bed. In this container, I have my bachelor's buttons. These are cool flowers that germinate in the cool weather. And they will be beautiful in the spring. I put my sun shine ligustrum here. It's looking a little sad, but it will pop back in the spring. All the leaves are going to fall off anyway. Over in the back corner, I have an African basil plant that grows so huge and the bees absolutely love it. I had it over by my greenhouse but I couldn't even walk over there. <laughs> so I moved it over here. So this is what the flower garden is looking like. It is going to be so full of flowers come spring and summer 2024. So stay tuned to that. And this cone flower is still looking pretty. Look at that beautiful flower. They're looking a little sad. It's a little late in the season for them, but they are still looking good. We're going to go over to the new vegetable garden. And I have been working to get it together and it is finally finished. I'm loving what I see. I have the arbor in place. I made a little uh, walkway out of refurbished bricks that came from this area. And so, yeah, I love using what I already have. 
I had some little stepping stones that I also had. I put the boxwoods right on the sides of the arbor. I have in front of it some hostas, Patriot. I love Patriot hostas. So I transplanted them over there. And on the right side of the trellis, I planted a coral honeysuckle that will be climbing the top of this trellis. But this is the entrance way and I love the brick. Just a simple pattern. I put sand underneath, sand on top, swept it in and watered it in. My boxwoods here with Patriots. You can also enter into from the greenhouse right into the vegetable garden. This is a new addition to the vegetable garden. I had a iron bench before. This is a Facebook market find. And I love it. It's so sturdy, so heavy. I am planning on, um, what is the word? I want to stain it. Yes, I want to stain it, but I want it this brown color. I don't want it to be any other color but this color. It came with this uh, seat cover. I may change it. It needs a little um, sewing on the left side. Just little things here and there, but this bench is awesome. It's so nice to sit in. I don't have plants around that the bees will be chasing me away from this area. I really want it to just have a nice sitting space. I've also incorporated the pineapple side table that I had in here from the beginning. I do not remember the name of this plant. If anybody knows what this is, please tell me. I love the fall color. And um, yeah, it is in the right spot. I will not have a lot of problems with bees. <laughs> I did a video recently showing how I worked in a lady's garden and she gave me these window boxes. This was a trade. Anyway, this window box is attached to the railing of this fence. And I have it attached with heavy duty zip ties, but I also may reinforce it with some steel uh, cords so that I won't have any accidents. I want this to be up here for a very long time. And also I purchased these windows, just wanted to be a little creative. And I took the glass out so that I could attach it. And I think it looks very nice. I also painted it brown. They came white and I really, really enjoy it. I think it looks like a window box. I also have my planter here that I had um, petunias, those really bubblegum looking petunias. They weren't super petunia vistas, but they sure were pretty. I'll attach a picture as well. But I want to fill these up with uh, flowers for the pollinators and also uh, whiskey barrels on both sides. I also have my blueberry bush, my first blueberry bush, it's showing its fall color. It is very beautiful. Get loads of blueberries on that. So everything to me is looking so lovely. I am having so much fun doing this. It has been a blast. I have to say these boxes worked really well attached to the fence because I did not have a place to put them on my house. <laughs> so on this shed, in front of the shed, I have two blueberry bushes and the barrel in front, in the middle, 
has a rose, which I'm just holding it over in this barrel until I find a permanent home for her. And I have these stepping stones around this area. They are from Plow and Hurt, I believe is the name of that company. I found these and they were actually in the other garden, but you would never have seen them. Um, but this is really a way of them being seen. And it's just a little design. Um, I think it's cute. On the left side, I added this little gate that I already had. Um, I made it into a little room to house my tomato cages, tomato steaks, and just little things that I don't want to see. So that is just an area back there. I have this bag full of onions. I also have this 20 gallon bag. I have about three of them that I'm gonna use in this area for tomatoes. And yeah, this is the vegetable garden. I am loving the area and um, I'm looking forward to just coming back here, relaxing and growing things that I will eat and my family will eat. It's just me and my husband, but I don't want to grow things just to be growing things. I want to grow things that we're going to actually eat. So out here, there will be tomatoes, onions, carrots, um, my strawberries, blueberries, stuff like that. And as you have seen in past videos, in my veranda, I have lots of brassicas that are in five gallon containers. And that way the cabbage moth is not able to get into that area because it's screened in. And that is a perfect way for me to be able to enjoy brassicas. So I went to the park and our local park has big mounds of these wood chips. And so I got a whole bunch of it and I spread it out in this area. And I really love the look of it. After a while, it ages into a gray um, color, but I have still some of those rocks underneath and it just, you cannot tell. The um, wood chips did a great job of covering it up. And I am just loving this area, guys. And I'm so happy to be able to say that I'm done with my fall project of doing the vegetable garden as well as the flower garden. I look forward to uh, spring 2024 and all the beautiful things that will be taking place, the flowers, the vegetables, I am just excited. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and also share it with others that you know enjoy creativity in the garden. So thanks for watching, guys.